For this video, I'm going to go ahead and create a sphere, which I'm going to use to explain what the aim constraint is. I also go ahead and rotate this object so that I can get a very good view of what I want to create. For this tutorial, we're creating uh, much more of an object looking much more like an eye. And then this object is what we're going to elaborate what the aim constraint does. With this object selected and ready to go, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a cube which I'm going to use as a controller for this object. Next thing I'm going to do is have this cube selected and then I'm going to go ahead and select this object which we've created in form of an eye. I'll go over to the constraint and then click on aim constraint and simply leave offset turned on. The next thing I'm going to do is make sure that all my settings are properly done and I'm going to click on apply. Now that I've applied this constraint, what's going to happen is wherever I move this cube to, this eye is going to be constrained towards it. This doesn't affect the scale of this object, it doesn't affect the rotation of the object, it also doesn't affect any other thing except the positioning of this object. When the object stays at a particular place, it only aims and looks at the cube wherever the cube goes. This is totally different from your point constraint and is also totally different from your parent constraint. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to share with your friends and hit the subscribe button. If you have questions about this video, please drop them in the comment section down below. So far so good guys, peace.